The, um, the CBD as a suburb has really grown in the last 10 to 15 years. It's become full of a lot more people than it was, say, 20 years ago. And the demand for the CBD really has, has grown and um, it's pushed prices up because we can't produce enough apartments to meet the um, demand.如果是手头上面有足够的这个资金的话把这个房子一卖，增值的部分也会将是你这几年的，不管是学费啊，就是这些支出的一个一个cover。They need to think long term about what they want to purchase, and we offer a, a range of apartment buildings in the city. Um, so, say for example, Queen Square, which is on Queen Street, it's it's right in the heart of the, of the city. It's couple of hundred metres to the Auckland University and AUT, you know, that, that really suits you know, some purchases, whereas Union & Co, for example, which is up on a ridge and has the most stunning views out over, over west and you see the harbour, and you know, that's, um, that might be more a lifestyle purchaser. So, you know, it, and it's thinking long term about what the investor, the purchaser, wants to get out of the apartment.其实在去年十月份这个新政策出来以后的确好像新西兰的房地产市场稍微的跟之前比起来就是冷了一段时间但是现在不是也有报道说这个又开始火爆起来了吗尤其是在公寓的这个期房的购买方面也是开始我们也